Yep. Okay, guys, the battery cut out on us on the other one, so we have magic of YouTube. We got a new radiator. Instructions. You don't need those. Well, these are all the rubbers and the clips and the little parts here and there for all the stuff that attaches to the radiator. So we're going to go ahead and start getting these put back on. I have that upside down. No, I got that right. I do believe. Let me double check it. Looks like I had that upside down. I don't forget to put those on there. Oh, he's got those on that. Oh, those are good. Oh. Right, these, are, these are for the, uh, uh, what you call it? The whatchamacallit. It's technical terms, in case you guys are wondering. Sweet nothings into its ear. Should go back in. Assuming the parts house gave you the right one? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, if they don't go back in right, and the whisper and sweet nothings doesn't work, you gotta have to call it a dirty name. It works every time. But where did I put those clips? These clips here go down here into these slots to hold these fans in. See how that would just sit right on there if that clip was there? Shut it in there, shut it. I feel like this is going to hurt. We'll just tap it in. In case you guys don't have one of these, this is a hammer also. Sets in there just like that. And then we got these two clips here. That clip right on here. Just like that. That's for the fans to go back on. Is that the fan screw? That wasn't the fan screw, never mind. These are the fan screws. And of course, them are the 10 millimeter again. other clip on here so we don't forget that. Oh, let me get my multi-purpose hammer. Well, that one's too good for its home.
Oh no, I dropped it. Oh, the pain. Let's try that again. I might have to call it a dirty name, like I said, so I'll cut that out of the video for you guys. There we go. The old uh, multi-purpose flathead works better. Now, before we get carried away, we got to remember to put the bottom hose back on or we're going to have a whole other problem on our hands. like that get the trusty rusty pliers here channel locks this quality factory clamps on there give it a good shove just to make sure it's shoved down in those spots where those rubber grommets hold it in place. Then go ahead and grab our other fan. Set it down here in place. Let's plug it in while it's easy to get to. Just like that. Now, get in that clip that was too good for its home and shove it down in that little spot over there. Grab the other screw. And of course that's a 10 millimeter again. Let's shove this out of the way so we don't lose that. Now we got to reattach this air conditioner cooler to the front of here. Hopefully, we didn't mess it all up in the process. Seems like there should be something holding that together, doesn't there? Hmm. That's weird. The rivets look like they broke on that. rivets but I might have a big old zip tie My rock can go. Gotta have my rock. Shove that back in here to hold things out for us. Alright, well, it'll hold itself out now. Ten 
millimeter? Yeah, it's 10 millimeter. Everything was 10 millimeter except for the four bolts that hold that metal piece across the top. So, I'll show you that here in a second. Clip the, clip the grill piece back in so it doesn't, don't think I broke it, it just came off the clip. Okay, let's put this hose back on while we can get to it. Switch back over to the half inch. Those just snap in there? Yeah, there's just little holes. This one's got a sticker over it somewhere. put these back on or I'll be awful loose in here. And these are back to the 10 millimeters.
greens is not going to be everything. Oh, I gotta put this piece back. That's antifreeze. Ew. <laughs> the van can still work, I know it can. Remember, put your two plastic clips back in. One goes here. If I can get that back in, in a minute. That one goes over here on this side. Just like that. Might have to do some playing around to get it to fit back in there, right? these Phillips head screws back in to hold this piece of plastic on, on the front. It would be a shame if you could see things when they break. should have another screw or a bolt, 10 millimeter bolt here, but it didn't have one when I took it apart. So it's not getting one back in it. Just like that is how you fix a 2002 Chrysler Town & Country minivan's radiator. And don't forget to put coolant back in it because you'll have a bad day if you do.